was over Crit their muscle coming to you in another YouTube video. Here we are, internationally now worldwide syndicated. This is where it's at. Crypto Muscle on the Crypto Muscle Network. Coming to you in another YouTube video. So uh let's talk about Pulse Chain here. Hex, Pulse Chain, the dick hearts of the world, and uh so on here because I mean when you're only 17% faster than the original, I mean, how's that a huge improvement to anything that's already in existence? All right, so, you know, before we dig into this any further, you are on the Crypto Muscle Network, and you are on the Crypto Muscle. Yeah, legacy channel right here. This is where you find opportunities also find news um talk content entertainment all that good stuff telegram group as well it's all the same stuff but in a group chat subscribe to everything i got also got my podcast channel as well opinionated content on a larger scale right this is what i do here podcast is a, on a large scale one hour show so with that, uh, let's talk about it. All right, let's get back inside and talk about, uh, let's see, where am I? Where am I at? Got to find myself here. Over, let's go talk about it now. The pulse chain, the hex, all that stuff. You know, I was reading a chat earlier uh, today and and it just got me. You know, I was, I was reading about a project then. And they said, oh, there's one of these groups I used to follow. And they said, oh, you know, we're waiting for a long time. Yeah, their shit was pretty much dead, right? And the only thing they were really trying to do is just migrate to another chain, which was Pulse Chain. They said, oh, we're trying to, you know, we're waiting for Pulse Chain. They kept saying that. We're waiting for Pulse Chain. We're waiting for Pulse Chain. And their platform, DeFi Bids, is one of the projects that waited on for Pulse Chain. Uh, it just kind of went out, you know, it fizzled, right? And the only thing that's given them... They only kept themselves afloat on life support is to kind of migrate to Pulse Chain. And uh, now they're here they are, right? And it's funny to me, all right? Let me see here if I could find the chat. And so uh, let's see here. They're working on a relaunch. And they're looking to, uh, you know, they've been doing this since 2020. I remember I, I joined in here in 2020. You know, I bought in on their little tokens to try to see if I can make something of it, which really didn't. But uh, I, I think I've been continuously just staking that stuff the whole time. I have, I have no idea if there is any value to it. But they went by the wayside anyways. And so they want to like and retweet. Let's get, get some engagement going to help with the relaunch and rebrand, right? And so someone did ask, uh, when we're going to start moving bids, which is the token of DeFi bids, from ETH to Pulse. You have the same amount of bid you had before already on Pulse since it copied the blockchain, right? And that's exactly what it is. It's a copy of the original blockchain, Pulse, you know, Pulse chain. And it's only slightly faster. Maybe you might save a little bit on fees, but what really has it improved except just being another chain? And that's what really got me there when I saw that. So... These idiots over at DeFi Bids waited all this time to jump over to a chain that's only slightly faster, maybe slightly cheaper on fees, when you could just migrate it to a Binance Smart Chain. Shit, I bet even Tron Network is, is well, definitely faster and probably cheaper as well. So that's a missed opportunity. They fucked themselves. <laughs> Sorry, it's Sunday. Oh, pardon my French. It's Sunday. Maybe I shouldn't say that word. But they screwed themselves over waiting for a chain that's barely faster than ETH. And that's what they were on. They were on the ETH network. And so since they forked ETH, it's just an easy copy to put on Pulse Chain. So what did DeFi bids really do to, for themselves? All right. Nothing. And, um, uh, what benefit have they done to their community except waste time? Ah, okay, slightly faster chain. Oh, man, maybe because it's just the talk of the town, you know, like it's a new chain and all that. But come on, 
I bet they probably blocked a lot of negative feedback from that. Like, we waited all this time to get something that's just a little bit faster than we were originally on. Man, these guys got a bag of goods here is what they got. Screwed themselves, you know. And so, looking at Hex, this is useless. I mean, there's no point in having a Hex anymore. And let Mr. Dick dump on you guys every day. And that's why I continue to go down in value, right? All you guys were fooled thinking that it'll never go under a penny. Which it is now. Well over under a penny. And still going down. In the past day, that 7.3% in one day. That's pretty bad. Uh, in the past week, down 5%. That's pretty bad. I mean, for something that's already been down. And continues to go down, that's bad. Uh, look at the overall picture. Down 36% in the past month. That's, that's really bad because it was over a penny a month ago. So, think about that. Food for thought for a second there. All right. Garbage. And, like I said, there's no point in having Hex anymore. Tell me what the true point of having. You need a whole new range of of new buyers to come in to really buy it up and to push it out and do it double time than they already did the first time because you need a whole new round of buyers you think the existing base is going to buy back in again and pump it up to 55 cents or beyond no i mean it's already had it's already had its run there's no point If they go back in and do it again, you know what's going to happen? They're going to get dumped on. Doesn't matter if you're new or an old buyer, you're going to get dumped on. And then that's why no one's really doing that. You could do that if you want. You could let these idiots tell you, oh man, it's so cheap, it's so cheap. All right, go on ahead. <laughs> do it. I dare you. And so let's look at Pulse Chain here. Man, in the past days, down 6.6%. In the past week, Okay, it's down uh, nearly 5% in the past week. In the past month, wow, that's a banger. Down 21% in the past month. Shit. Oh, okay, it's just, uh, it's letting all the sellers sell out first, right? The long-term holders are the ones staying put. Well, you know, the other ones, they just wanted to sell, you know, with it, whatever it is, you, you, you always justify for the sellers, right? And, uh, you know, this is crazy how it is. So, yeah, people that say bullish, bullish, bullish. Are they really bullish? I'm bullish on PLS. PLS, big money coming. They're going to make millions in the next, next big run. Bull, I'm sorry, bull run. Um, uh, I mean, this is true right here. Uh, PLS waited for two years for this, right? Um, uh, shitcoin did not even hold sack rates for the, even the earliest sacrificers. So, this is crazy, which is true. It's crazy, but true. And, um, you know, I always like reading the details of it, though. It's just, it's funny to me when I read the details of Pulse Chain, right? That they forked ETH and it's easy to use because it, you can easily put in your MetaMask, which... Is Ethereum based and it could be easily used on your MetaMask. Lower chain fees and serve more users. It's 17% faster. Oh wow, man. You know, busting up for that one. Remove pollution. Oh my gosh, it's so it's so deadly. Toxic pollution that goes and burns energy, you know, from you know the ETH network. That's why we had to do it on Pulse Chain. Just a notch better. And improve game theory. Oh, I mean, don't bust me up, man. Holy shit, 25% per block per, per, you know, compared to Ethereum. Oh my gosh. Man. Pulse Chain's native token PLS can be used to activate validators to earn PLS. All right, go on ahead if you want to do that. So, just saying, you know, it's, it's such a disappointment, though. You know, when, when, you know, you see it and, you don't want to believe it, but it's like, wow, you know, looks are deceiving. 
and Pulse Chain is only 17% faster. I mean, that's such a disappointment. I mean, on a large scale, for something that was so hyped up for so long, for two years, all right, to only be just a tad faster than the original, and you'll save a little bit of gas than the original. Shit, I, I would have just straight up launched it on... I would have explored it at the very least Tron Network because if it was working on the fork of Binance Smart Chain for whatever reason they couldn't pull it off, got shitty devs I guess, then at least go to Tron Network and try to work something out that way, you know, just to kind of be different and, you know, bring more eyes to the Tron Network. I mean, the we use a lot of USDT all the time over there. All right. And so, man, that's just, just very disappointing. Um, let's see what we got here. Some of these rates. So over the last 24 hours, you know, Pulse, PLS is down 6.78%. Uh, see, PLSX down... 9.9%, just a tad above sacrifice right now, 0.30 above sacrifice. Oh my gosh, don't bust me up. And uh, it says right here, Hex is down 8.62, but yeah, that price just doesn't change. That price is wrong as well. And uh, you guys are just holding a bag of, of goods, right? You know who you're missing from all this, right? Since all these bloods are involved. You're missing Ellie Yan, all right? Because Ellie Yan, that bitch loves collecting shit coins, all right? She always collects bags of shit coins ever since the days of arbitraging, right? And then when arbitraging crashed and burned, she jumped over to the um, Polaris group, you know, that did uh, My Passive Trades and the Eureka Club and all that stuff. And. She was all about those ERK tokens, right? That was part of that whole, you know, uh, what do you call that? Uh, that whole, um, I guess they they were all interconnected with each other. The ecosystem of it. There you go. The ecosystem of of uh, my passive trades, Eureka Club, Impulse X, all that stuff, right? Used uh, these tokens, right? ERKs. So you had her and the dumbass uh, My Crypto Project, another blood, all these bloods playing with each other, right? Kept on egging each other on, talking about, I'm going to buy more of these shit coins because it's going to be great. And they would have competitions. Of, I just bought 20,000 more and I just bought 50,000 more, right? But these two idiots kept on bagging up all these shit coin ERKs. And guess what happened to ERK now? All right. It's, uh, I don't know what, they're, they're, they're in some mess right now. They're supposed to migrate to some platform. It's not happening. Uh, they're in some mess trying to talk about, you know, coming out with dApps. And they've been like this in this sort of uh, crazy, upside down, twisted, bizarre world reality since 2020, thinking that it's going to be fine when it hasn't been fine. The point of my thing is that how is this going to be fine? All right, the only people that actually likes this crap is that the only people that actually like this crap are the Bloods. <laughs> That's it. The Hexicans are the Bloods. <laughs> bloods are the Hexicans. Those are the people from the days of the token platforms of the arbitraging and Nova Train and all the BitConnect and all this stuff, right? That died in 20, you know, 18, 2019. Actually, 2019 it died. Uh, I mean, it was destroyed. And all those, along with a lot of them YouTubers, right? There's still, you know, outliers that are still out there hanging out, doing nothing like Matty Crypto, garbage. <laughs> I think he's the only one left. I mean, they all crash and burned. Um, but you can see the remnants of that crash and burn, which is this pile of shit right here. <laughs> you know, Hex, PLSX, PLS, all garbage, all shit, just barely faster than ETH, barely saving fees than ETH. And I go complete waste of time. You guys wasted two plus years of time. Go ahead, back this up. It's so cheap. It's so cheap. Buy it, man. It's just barely above sacrifice. Get it now before the bull run.
Can't wait. Can't wait. See you in the next one.